Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I have the amazing Amanda Verrett with me today. And what do you have for us, Amanda? Today we're going to be talking about our newest project, uh, what, which we're calling Paper Life, and it's a program we wrote in Flex, incorporating a uh, Second Life navigation system using Paper Vision 3D. What do you mean, Second Life? You've built a Second Life nav system in Paper Vision? Yes, we have. Uh, you can use the same controls that you use to navigate around Second Life in a web browser using Flex 3. Amanda, what are these uh, addresses I see right here? Okay, well, this first one I'm going to show you is where you can see a demo of our uh, Paper Life setup. www.nkuflc.org slash plnav and we'll take you there right now. Just click anywhere on the screen to activate it and then you can navigate through the uh, environment using the arrow keys. Rotate. Okay, Amanda, I see you can go up and down and you can rotate. That's cool. I, you know, anyone can do that. But I bet you can't fly like you fly in Second Life. You can fly. Uh, same keys as in Second Life, page up and page down. You've got to be kidding. Oh, my goodness, look at that. I'm flying in Second Life. Not Second Life, but where? Paper Life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amanda, what else do you have for me? We also have the code now up on Google Code, so we'll take you that take you there right now. Just go to code.google.com slash p slash paperlife. Just click on the downloads tab and here's a zip file for you. Wow, that's fantastic. I can get all the code, right? That's right. Fantastic. Now, I've got a question for you. I'm looking at this. You know, I've been coding. I probably started coding before you were born. This must be thousands of lines of code. Is that right? Actually, it's only about 210 lines of code. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Can you explain it to me? Sure. Uh, in this first section right here is where you import all of your uh, paper vision classes. You want to make sure that when you start this project that you have all of your paper vision classes imported into your source folder. So this is the area where it's called into the pro project. And this section is where you outline the parameters for the project. This is the speed for moving forward and backward. This is the speed for your rotation. This is the speed for flying. This is the radius for the um, layout of the cylinders in the circle. This is the number of cylinders, and this is the angle of measure for distance between those cylinders in the circle. Uh, this next section, uh, you want to declare all of your Booleans false uh, for the navigation system. So this is the left arrow, right arrow, up and down arrows, and page up and down. Okay, now we're at the real heart of the paper vision engine. Um, this is where you bring in the scene, the viewport, the camera, and the renderer. And Paul Tonder has a really great example of an explanation of this on his blog. So this is our setup. We have the 3D scene, the viewport, the camera, 3D object, material, and render engine. And I'll just go through this briefly to explain all these different parts. The 3D scene is the whole composition containing 3D objects, the camera, and viewpoints. Uh, interactive is an important property here. The viewport 3D is a container sprite used to visually output what is filmed by the camera and uh, it's rendered with the render engine. Um, the camera 3D is a point of view inside the 3D object. The 3D object is what you're creating. The material is the texture printed on the object. And the render engine is like a camera. Um, without the render engine, you won't see any of the images that you are producing. And that brings us to the next two lines, uh, which assign the key names to the cylinders, just like in Second Life. In the next video, we'll get into the functions. Thanks a lot, Amanda. This is fantastic. You're welcome, Mike.